So now we'll see what are the methods of blunt pulse. The first method is count. It counts number of occurrence of an item. So if I pass a element, if I pass an item to this count function, so it, will, it will tell me how many times uh, the particular item is repeated in a tuple. Next, the its index. So when I pass a parameter to this index, it will give me the index of the first occurrence of an element. So we have only these two functions here. There will be only few methods on tuples because uh, tuples are, as I said, immutable. That is the important thing you need to keep in mind. Whenever we are saying tuples, it's immutable. We can't change them. So otherwise, we'll use lists. The main difference, uh, the main difference why we use these tuples, it is immutable. So that's why the functionalities like some operations also we have uh, limited. So if I see in list, there are so many other operations like we can sort an element, we can reverse. I mean, you can sort a list, we can reverse a list. But that things we cannot we cannot do in tuple because they are immutable. So we have these few functions like count and index. We'll see an example of this. So I have a tuple, and I will say tuple numbers dot count, and I will say how many times this. I will do one more uh, one here, so we can see the count that we, so that it will print as two as count. So now I have to print this. And I will print pub count. So it should ideally print me two. So it has given me two. So this is how we can find the count like if I give and something which is not there in the tuple. Then it should give it should give me zero. It gave me zero. If you are not using this uh, count and if you directly call the something which is not there, it uh, generally it should it, it will throw some errors like in list or tuples. But using these functions, it won't throw some list errors. It will show as either a uh, number of times it is repeated, whether it's repeated one time, it will show one. It will repeat two times, it, is, it will show two. It doesn't repeat at all. It will show as zero. And then you can also find the index. Like similarly, I'll just copy this. And if you want to know the index, I know, I know, uh, like in a situation, like I know this 900 is present in this tuple, num in this tuple, but I want to know what position it is present. So I'll give this 900 here. So I get the position of the tuple that is called index. So if I print this, Anything. I have given count here instead of count I have to do index. So now if I print this, you'll see the index is 5. If I go here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it, will, it gave me the index of this 900. Similarly I will find the index for uh, 89. It will give me 3 but if I give 1, it will only find the first occurrence. There are 2 ones here but it will only give the first occurrence that will give me 0. So that's how we can that's how we can find index of an element in tuples. So these are the methods of in tuples.